Hi guys, in today's video, I'm going to be discussing polynomials and algebraic expressions. So this is a very, very important topic in the SAT and ACT math section. So the first thing which I'm going to teach you is some identities. What is A plus B, the whole square? And that is A square plus B square plus 2AB. What is A minus B square? This is a square plus b square minus 2ab. And now a square minus b square is a plus b into a minus b. And a square plus b square is a plus b whole square minus 2ab. So these are some identities which you need to know for the SAT and ACT. Now let's look at linear equation. Linear equations. This is also very, very important. So in linear equations, we're going to be discussing straight line graphs. So when you have a line x equals a, where a is any constant, it'll be a vertical line. Vertical line passing through the point A, and A is in the x-axis. Now when you have y equals A, it'll be a horizontal line. So this x equals A means there's only one x value, and y equals A means there's only y value, one y value. And this is a horizontal line. So this was the first thing which you need to know. So when x equals a, it's a vertical line, and when y equals a, and when y is equal to a, you get a horizontal line. Now let's look at the equation y equals mx plus c. This is the equation of a straight line. M is the gradient, and c is the y-intercept. Y-intercept is basically it is where the line crosses the y-axis. So what is the formula for? So first, let me teach you a gradient. Gradient is the slope. So whenever a straight line goes in this direction, the gradient is positive. And whenever the straight line goes like this, the gradient is negative. So the gradient, I'm just going to write M as gradient. The M of a vertical line is undefined. And M of a horizontal line, I'm just going to write it as HL, is zero. So the gradient of a vertical line is undefined and the gradient of a horizontal line is zero. Now, let me move on to the next topic. So when you have two points, x1, comma, y1, and x2, comma, y2, we have to find the distance. We have to find the distance between these two points. So the formula will be the root of x2, minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. So this is the distance formula. Now let's look at midpoint. What is the midpoint? What is the coordinates of the midpoint? Sorry, there's no square root here. What is the coordinates of the midpoint between these two points? It will be x1 plus x2 by 2. So these are coordinates. So we have to write a comma, y1 plus y2 by 2. So these, this is the formula for the coordinates of the midpoint. Now let's look at gradient. Gradient is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. Gradient is what I represented as m. Remember M in the straight line equation. When you have two lines which are parallel, so you have two parallel lines, 
of the two lines, the M is equal, the gradient or M is equal between the two lines. And also when they're perpendicular, sorry, when the two lines are perpendicular, So when there are two perpendicular lines, the product, the product of their gradients, of their gradients, I'm just gonna write this M, the product of their gradients is minus one. So the product of the gradients is minus one or one is a negative reciprocal of the others. So I'm just gonna write what I mean here about negative reciprocal. Say one line has the gradient of five and they, another line is perpendicular to this line. We have to find what, we have to find what the gradient of the other line is. So you'll do five into X equals minus one. So, because we know that the their products or the products of their gradient is minus one. So X will be minus one by five. So it's the negative reciprocal. Now I'm going to be moving on to system of equation. System of equations. So if you have a one X plus B one Y equals C one, a two X plus B2, Y equals C2. A1, B1, C1, A2, C, B2, C2 are all constants. So when two lines are parallel, they will have zero solution or no solution. When the two lines are perpendicular, they will have one solution. One solution is just the number of times they meet. So you know when two lines are parallel, they never meet, right? That's why they have zero solutions. When they're perpendicular, they meet only once. So they have one solution and overlapping lines. So that's, that just means when the line is like one above the other. So overlapping lines, infinitely many solutions. So you just can't count how many solutions there are. So when the when you have one solution, so when it's perpendicular, a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2. So this a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2. When you have zero solutions, so when they're parallel, the two lines, a1 by A2 is equal to B1 by B2, which is not equal to C1 by C2. And finally, when you have infinitely many solutions, A1 by A2 equals B1 by B2, which is equal to C1 by C2. Okay, that's it for today's video, guys. In today's video, I discussed a very important topic in SAT called polynomials and algebraic expressions. Thank you.